Oh, ho. This is Shmuel coming at you. Hey, I had a quick story for you. Have you ever been home working on a project or doing something and you're like, God, this ain't never getting done. Then your friend calls you. Hey, can you help me change the tire? You haul ass over there to get that tire changed. And anytime one of your friends need help, you there like a damn and a heartbeat and you own it. And it's a, you have a good time doing it. Well, I'll tell you something. I've been like that too. But I'll give you some advice. You better take care of your own house first and foremost and I mean take care of it that means your your family your cousins anybody that's in your family that you can extend the olive branch to you help them but don't screw yourself uh, offer them some help be there for them let me tell you a quick story I um you can see what I'm Hey, I went, when I was about 15 years old, we was cropping tobacco in, uh, near Whiteville, North Carolina. And when we got finished cropping tobacco, it was me, my brother, one of his good friends, Timmy. Tim's the, one of them McCoy boys. And uh, Joseph, about four or five other guys with us. Maybe five or six. Anyway, we finished cropping tobacco and uh, we stopped by White Lake. Man, we all ran down the end of the damn pier, and the water looked like it was one foot deep. I mean, it was crystal frick. I mean, it was crystal clear. So we all jumped in that damn water. Cannonball over here. Good swan dive over there. Everybody do jumped in. Man, usually when you jump into some shallow water, you expect your feet to hit, and you jump right back on up. Well, there was no bottom. That water won't know one foot deep. That water was like 25 foot deep. So... We all jumped in and struggled like hell to get out of it. We all got out. We were on the pier laying down, exhausted. Like, good God, that was rough. Only one didn't come up was Timmy. Timmy McCoy. So I looked up, and Tim McCoy was at, he was down there at the bottom. I said, oh, shit. That's, I looked over at my brother, and I'm like, that's it, your boy. Go get him. I'm thinking to myself. Then I said, shit, this is my chance to be the damn hero. For some reason, God made me that way. When shit breaks off, I got to be in it for some reason. Should have been an EMS worker. Nevertheless, I jumped in the damn water, grabbed old Tim. As soon as I got close to him, he grabbed my hand. He grabbed me from my finger all the way to my feet. Then he grabbed my head. Man, I could. he was grabbing me. only thing I could do was to kick him in the stomach as hard as I could to get him off of me. That dude was, I mean, listen. So finally... I swam back around, got up underneath him and pushed him up. I mean, I tried to push him, but I couldn't let him get close to me. So I pushed him up. Luckily, um, some of them other guys seen that he was coming to the surface and he, we all, everybody jumped in and he about drowned every one of us. But luckily, somebody on the pier was able to reach and grab his hand and he about pulled him in. The point I'm trying to make is be careful. When you're trying to help someone, make sure you're in the position and the capacity to help someone. But the scriptures themselves, the Holy Scriptures will tell you, you take care of your own home first. That's your wife, your children, your mother, father, your brother, all those relatives underneath your roof and your extended roof. You help those folks first before you go extending your hand, helping everybody else. Uh, don't get me wrong. It feels good to help people. I'm not telling you not to help no one. But you better be careful who you help because you might just get drowned. Uh -huh.